Hey guys, this is Mitch from BoardCo. We are out here today to do some boat comparisons between a Nautique G23 and a Centurion RI series with the new Opta V hull shape. The thing we're gonna take a look at today is the fuel consumption of the two boats. One of the things we talk about quite a bit with the new Opta V hull is how fuel efficient it is, and we thought we would give you a direct uh, showing of what goes on. We're out here in this boat, we have an engine diagnostic tool hooked up. We have uh, our computer set up here that you can actually see live the gallons per hour consumption. So right now we're at about 0.8 gallons per hour. Um, we're just at an idle speed, so it's barely using any fuel. So we're out here and we're, we've got it set up right now with only the three of us here in the boat. So we got myself, Jack who's filming, uh, Troy is here driving the boat. Um, we have the stock ballast full, so we are running um, a total of 2,850 pounds of ballast. Um, and we've got it just set up, set up with the stock uh, surf settings for kicking out a surf wave. And we're gonna uh, use the surf system and kick out a wave right over here on this side. So that gives you an idea where we're at and we can start driving and we'll show you what, where our fuel consumption sits. So our cruise control just engaged in. Uh, we're going about 11.3 miles per hour. You see we've got our surf wave shaped up. The boat throws out a good surf wave. It's a great boat. Um, the, the G23 is a, a fantastic boat. You see right here, this is our gallons per hour usage. So we are moving typically right at about 13 and a half gallons per hour. Um, as far as fuel consumption, it, it fluctuates between about 13 and uh, 14, seeing so it go up to about 14 and a half. But, Overall, we're running approximately 13 gallons per hour, 13 and a half gallons per hour, while we're surfing with the three of us in the boat and 2,850 pounds of balance. As you can see, there's our surf wave that we've got going. Um, and, the, and we tested it just a minute ago. Fuel consumption is the exact same, whether we're surfing on the left side or if we kick over to the right side, the fuel consumption really doesn't, doesn't change much. So. That gives you an idea of where we're at in this Nautique G23. We're gonna cut over to the Centurion RI and uh, give you a showcase of how it compares. All right, guys, we are now out here and we are in a Centurion RI257. So this boat comes in just shy of 26 feet. So it's a full two and a half feet um, plus longer than the, the G23 that we were just in. Um, in addition to that, the ballast capacity of the G23 is 2,850 pounds. The ballast capacity of this boat is 5,550 pounds. So it is packing nearly double the ballast capacity compared to the G23. So we've got it all set up, ready to rock and roll with surfing. We're running the same setup that we were in the last boat. There's just the three of us here. We've got the ballast full and rocking, um, ready to go and, um, and have the diagnostic hooked up to be able to show you what um, our fuel consumption is looking like. So we'll start out and get going and show you where we're at. So when you come back here and see, we are hanging out surfing at uh, between about eight to eight and a half gallons per hour. Um, dipping down to the sevens from time to time, but right, basically right at eight, eight and a half. So that is a pretty stark contrast. When you consider that this boat is a larger boat that is almost a thousand pounds heavier, that is packing nearly 2,000 pounds more ballast, in fact, more than 2,000 pounds more ballast. You have a surf wave that is larger, longer, and most importantly, has more volume and mass, and we are burning 40% less fuel than other boats. That is the importance of the Optivy hull. The reason why it does that is because of reduced drag. We have a reduction in friction on the bottom of the boat, which allows the boat to glide across the water smoother and easier, resulting in better handling, better control, um, and improved fuel efficiency while you're driving, while you're surfing, while you're wakeboarding, while you're doing any activity behind the boat. This is one of the amazing things that um, the Octave Hole offers in these 2018 Centurion boats. This is the biggest boat that we offer. The fuel efficiency is even better in the 237, the 217, uh, the FI series, the boats that are smaller. So 
as you can see, that was what we're getting in the RI series and how it compares to other boats that are out on the market. Incredible performance, but beyond that, even better fuel efficiency and um, uh, just much better convenience so you don't have to fill up with fuel halfway through your day when you're out surfing. So, hope that's helpful and cheers. All right, guys, you saw how the Centurion performed. We are now out in a Malibu 24 MXZ to give you a little bit of comparison and how it performs and what the um, fuel consumption rate is like on this boat um, utilizing the stock ballast setup and the surf gate system. So a little bit about the ballast in this boat. So we're running the stock ballast in the boat, which is, um, which is hard tanks under the floor, it's about 1,500 pounds of ballast. And then we have 750 plug and play bags in, in the rear lockers back here. Um, you can see we don't have any additional weight or custom oversized bags or anything like that. Um, this is the, um, it, Malibu plums the, the ballast fittings in, the ballast bags are actually added by the dealer. Um, but this is the way that most guys run a, a stock dealer setup in the boat. Um, there's no additional lead. There's just the three of us here in the boat. Um, total, it's running about 3,000 pounds. So we're about uh, we're about 2,500 pounds of ballast lighter than uh, what you're what we we're running in the Centurion RI 257. Um, in addition to that, uh, this boat is equipped with the power wedge, which we're, we're going to show you at two different settings. We'll show you the the wave and the fuel consumption at, with the wedge on a, a the lowest setting that it can be on when it's engaged, and then what happens when you take it up to the higher setting for a, a steeper, more powerful wave, and what that does to our fuel consumption. Um, <clears throat> one other point to note in this boat is that it is running a Monsoon 450 engine. Um, this guy, So it's uh, the same horsepower, and the same power rating as what we're running in the RI257. Um, the RI257 just had more ballast, um, even with the wedge deployed, um, more than uh, a thousand pounds more downforce. Um, and is a boat that is noticeably larger and heavier um, compared to this one. So that's something to factor in, but um, power-wise between the two boats, we're running identical power performance as far as the engines. Um, so <clears throat> we'll get started and make it so that we can see what goes on. Okay, so we are going and running. And we are burning right here, uh, right around 12 gallons per hour. So compare that to the Centurion, which is right around eight. Um, we are burning about 50% more fuel in this guy. And this is with the wedge setting at a, a setting of one, or the, the, the lowest setting, most mellow setting that the, the power wedge can be on. Um, so we're about 50% more ballast with the wedge barely engaged. You see, we got a wake here. Um, it's nice and clean. Um, with the wedge setting where it's at, it doesn't have a ton of volume and power to it, but it's a, it's, it actually produces a nice clean wave um, on this boat. When we take the wedge up, which we're engaging right here, um, the engine's revving up, it's creating more drag. Um, hopefully you can hear me pretty well. It's um, That's why we're running the Bluetooth mic here, is to, to make it so that we don't have as much uh, noise disturbance, but it is noticeably louder in the Centurion. Um, when you run it with the wedge fully engaged, we are running up to 17 and a half gallons per hour. Compare that to the Centurion, this is more than double the fuel consumption. That is due to the surf gate system, the way it works and how it kicks out and creates additional drag compared to the Centurion surf system, which actually reduces drag. It also is a factor of the whole design on this boat. So, with the Centurion off to be whole, it reduces drag along the bottom. It, um, it makes it so it, sl it glides across the water better. This one, it really is just plowing through the water with the with the power wedge and the surf gate system with the ballast setup we have. Our wave is good. It's uh, not quite as clean as what we get the Centurion, but we got a bit more power with that power wedge again. Overall, a great surf wave, but you're burning more than double the fuel to get it. 
a lot and hope for that.